You're probably not gonna be as intelligent as you are after watching this video. How we all doing? Man, this woke mind disease has been out of control. We've been talking about it. And today there's a video that I wanna show you that will make you lose hope in humanity. <laughs> Apparently, Nick Marks got canceled once again. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, so you're probably like, Yo, wasn't he canceled the other day? Wasn't he canceled? Yeah, he was canceled, but he got canceled once again. That's what we love to see, right? He responded after that. Guys, like this video if you're with Nick Marks. Leave the kids alone. Dislike if you're not. First of all, I want to dive into some very small controversy, but after that, it's gonna get serious. So check this out, right? Xbox 3 R came on, who is more than a gamer. Ow! And this situation is wild. Now, obviously, guys, uh, how many times we've been through this? And let's be goddamn real about it. It is happening in front of your eyes. It's happening in front of my eyes. I don't even have to be the one to tell you what's happening, but it's very much clear that they are looking to change the gender role this is a defeminization of woman character in video games absolutely disgusting man and keep in mind i actually like fable i've seen the trailer it looks very good so i got nothing against the game it's just that people are finding out that this is another one of those they damn character and my guy actually came on xbox 3r he ended up fixing the character like that you know what i'm saying this, this is absolutely insane and as a straight male as a straight male I do be catching feelings. I, I do be getting it. Oh. That's probably a controversial statement, and this got a lot of those woke mind disease holders really, really mad. Uh, and understandably, right? Because they can just simply not see a beautiful woman in video games. We're all seeing it. They're trying to turn men into female and females into men. It's happening in front of our own eyes. And we've seen this happen last year with, with Alloy. This guy actually fixed her, gave her makeup, made her smile, gave her that mascara, gave her that lipstick and ended up fixing and this was a very small controversy even i covered it at the time but it wasn't like people did not get mad at least the majority didn't get mad people were like okay whatever right alloy is fighting robots so it's not necessarily a big deal and yeah here it's not necessarily a big deal and this is also not necessarily a big deal but when you couple this up with everything that's going around i mean damn bro this woke mind disease is literally everywhere you cannot unsee it but people are bringing this up which i think is true Literally in the past Fable games, all the people were dirty. Like, stop. My guess is that they need they need soap. <laughs> but guys, on the other side, ow, or I shouldn't even be saying that. This isn't anything funny. Now, this happened just four days ago, right? You're taking the wrong effing flag down, mate. The guy who recorded the video said, I'll, I'll play the clip for you. You don't think we know that. The guy who took down the flag responded with, roll it. So you can see flag down mate at least you know that absolute disgraceful absolute disgraceful the fact that they are denouncing and degrading the flag that I, I, first of all i'm in the i'm not in the uk i'm in canada but we all can agree that this uk flag means something to people living in the uk that represents equality this flag represents all the people that are in the UK. So the fact that you are degrading, denouncing, and literally throwing the flag on the street like that, that is just insane. All because of this woke mind disease, all because you want to have those flags that only represents 0.0000.9% of the people versus this UK flag that represents everybody literally all the lgb people as well even the guy that is taking down the flag he says you don't think we know that they know it they know it everybody knows everybody knows what's right what's wrong we all know that but he has to do it because he has to feed his family he's paid to do that he is being paid if he doesn't do that he's gonna lose his job this is his job it's clear that he's not liking what's happening and he has to do it but somebody gotta do it and apparently he happens to be the guy that is doing it this has gone way too far and everywhere you look you're finding this call me crazy but guys check this out apparently this happened today as well and absolute insanity pride is about never being quiet and knowing that you are enough that's what bungie said i mean you know what whatever they have hid a lot of comments obviously obviously they gotta hide those comments and if you are looking for those comments you simply gotta click right here and boom when you click on it what you find that's me ow that's that's me Bro. oh my god oh my god that is my video that is that video from this the other day understand. i'd like to read you a page sixth grader my back over my hips as i ask if we should take off take our clothes off and he's saying yes before i finish my sentence he's pulling off my t-shirt he's undoing my belt i'm reaching into his bedside drawer for a condom 
We're kissing. Uh, okay, I don't want to play this video again. This is something that I made a video the other day where this 11-year-old kid found a book in his school library, by the way. And he was reading that crap. To do that activity, which I cannot say on YouTube, apparently, through the book, he was learning about doing this activity at 11-year-old with another man another guy and, and it talks about hey we we felt really bad in the beginning but then it's okay because you're letting your feelings out 11 year old kid was reading that i will link you that video in the pinned comment i don't want to play this video i don't want to live through that so yeah this guy dropped that comment people are saying leave the kids alone protect their kids and everybody who says that leave the kids alone apparently they're hiding it i don't even have to be the guy to tell you it is happening in front of your eyes it is happening in front of my eyes they are after your kids because leave the kids alone is apparently a dead sentence in the year 2023. On the other side, people are getting banned left and right. Bungie blocked you. Absolutely. Destiny. Destiny also blocked you. Everybody's blocking everybody right now. This is crazy. I mean, die, okay? But a little bit of hope. Not all hope is lost because people are speaking out and everybody's on this matter. It's good to see. Uh, shout out to the homie Charlie for adding me in the situation. I'm personally in Canada, so it's good to see that this is happening in Canada. High school students in Ottawa, Canada have organized a walkout to protest radical they them theory there is a backlash developing, especially amongst young men who see the they them ideology as political. Shout out to, shout out to these men. Shout out to these uh, high schoolers. Shout out to the the girls. Shout out to the, the the men out there, because after all, we are the future. These kids are the future. These high schoolers are the future. So the fact that everybody's standing up, that's very good to see. And I don't know how many of you guys have seen Black Mirror. So far, I've only seen the first episode, and that was crazy because every time something like this happens. People always gives example. People always brings up the, you, you know what, Black Mirror, Black Mirror. And check this out. This story is insane. Main locked out of his smart home for a week after delivery driver accuses him of being racist. Oh, shit. Oh, and, and you want to know the crazy thing? I, I played that sound effect way too early. You want to know the crazy thing? Apparently, the guy misheard. The guy misheard. The Amazon delivery guy who complained about this guy who was locked uh, to make it very simple, okay? A man had a smart home and he had the Amazon driver pull up to his crib and he's like, here's your order, right? Here's your order, mate. Take it, take it. And the Amazon delivery guy misheard him and he thought that this guy with the smart home was being racist. And guess what happens? Man got locked out of uh, his own house. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Yeah, this is absolute insanity. This is happening in real life. You know the saying, right? You're gonna own nothing, but you're still gonna be happy. It is happening literally dead ass. It is literally happening dead ass. That sounds absolutely nuts. But guys, on the other side, this story is uh, going around because Andrew Tate is now back, uh, finally. Still uh, under massive investigation. But Andrew Tate now has over 417,000 viewers on Rumble. He has done his first ever comeback stream, and whether you like the guy or not, you have to agree that something is very suspicious that's happening with both of these brothers, because Tristan now claims that he was behind bars because they caught him making, allegedly stealing money from TikTokers. That's why he was sent to prison, and obviously we all know of uh, the Andrew Tate charges, allegedly for trafficker. But Tristan was, was put behind bars because he was apparently, allegedly, according to them, was stealing TikToker money. I mean, damn, man. So he done the comeback stream, talked about all of that, and ended up getting 417,000 people live on Rumble. <laughs> That's that's yeah, absolutely welcome, crazy. Welcome. So this is not stopping. So we're like what over a week into this mess right now and Call of Duty they're still strong. They're still independent. They're not letting this thing go. Nick Merckx drop from another huge Call of Duty contract. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, shit. and he's now being dropped from the Call of Duty League. I thought that it said the Call of Duty LGB or something like that, but Call of Duty League uh, streamer. Yeah. That is crazy. That is crazy. And people are speculating that even Nick Merckx, or I mean, Nick Merckx, we already said that. People are now speculating that even Tim the Tatman would have been let go. And I feel like that he's let go, but we're not entirely sure. And then he responded by saying this. Uh, he apparently said nothing, but ended up dropping a post, which is, I mean, you know, yeah. that goes to show you. <laughs> After a week of staying silent, he dropped this post and ended up ratioing literally everybody. Everybody's on his side. He don't even have to say anything because apparently leave the kids alone is a death sentence in the year 2023. But ow, a CDL Challenger player account was banned 
mid-match during the LAN event today for hacking. Oh, so this is God. apparently happening in Call of Duty and we all know that, right? This twad that you see looking and staring at the Black Cell Season 4, very, very strong, very independent <laughs> operator. Uh, he's staring at that apparently and allegedly he was hacking in the game and therefore he got thrown in Activision Hell, Activision Heaven do not exist. After they dropped Nick Mark simply for saying leave the kids alone, Activision Heaven do not exist. So he was sent into Activision Hell. We love to see this twat being in Activision Hell because they do not care about anything. You hack the game? Okay, we're gonna ban you if money is on the line. That's, I mean, they should do that. Small W on their part for banning the guy, but the game is literally infested with hackers left and right. Nothing is being done about it. The community has been giving their feedback for years straight. Nothing gets done. But the second Nick Mark said that leave the kids alone, he get Amazon overnight delivery, same day delivery Bruh. treatment. <laughs> Earlier today, a massive story went down with XQC as well. And XQC has signed a hundred million dollar deal with Kig. That is absolutely insane. Yo, can a brother get like two pennies or something like that? <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm just saying, like a hundred million, a hundred million dollar, a hundred million dollar. Can a, can a brother just simply get two pennies? Yo, if I get two pennies, I'm gonna give one penny to you guys, okay? Bruh. But this is, but to understand the insanity with this story, check this out. Ludwig dropped this news where you can see LeBron James' two year contract was 97.1 million dollar. I mean, die, okay? <laughs> Extension makes him the top paid player in NBA history, not anymore! Because Twitch Star signs a two year, hundred million dollar deal with rival platform. Twitch is down the gutter, we all know that. But guys, if you want to see what happened with that 11 year old kid, what exactly he said, this, this video actually is very upsetting. It had my blood boiling. Click on this video on the screen. This is the, the one that uh, Bungie actually hid. On the left, that video is on my second channel. This is about the Las Vegas UFO crash. Another video ended up leaking out. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.